Hi there and welcome to this short presentation on Dutcher Middle School's Chromebook procedures and expectations for 7th and 8th grade students who last week received a Chromebook as part of our one to web program. This is your assistant principal, Mr. Arriola, hoping to provide you with some useful information that will help you take care of this Chromebook and help you be safe online. So last week you received a non touchscreen Chromebook that is about a year old, so there may be a few minor scratches, but again, it's non touchscreen, so hopefully you haven't been pressing the screen too hard, hoping to click on a link. Again, it's non touchscreen. It does provide students with 10 hours of battery life, so if you are responsible and charging your Chromebook every night, then your Chromebook should last the full 10 hours and there's no need to bring your charger to school. Now, one of our key goals is to make sure that we prepare our students for high school, but more importantly, getting them ready for college and career with an understanding that technology is here to stay and we need to make sure that our students use technology as a way to help them become better students, but also become digital citizens. So hopefully by now you've had an opportunity to look over the Turlock Unified Take Home Chromebook Handbook. It is about 14, 15 pages. It is important that you look over it. Uh, but really, what we want you to become really well aware of is the Chromebook reminders that are found in page 16 and 17 of Dutcher Student Handbook. There you will find site specific information. So if your Chromebook breaks or you lose it, where do you go? What do you do? So again, in your Dutcher Middle School student handbook that you received the first week of school on page 16 and page 17, you'll find this very useful information. And in this presentation, I'll be go, going over some of those key points. Now, we're all very excited about the potential of what this could mean for students learning. Uh, we're excited about how we can help you uh, learn in a more effective way. Uh, but we also understand that there is a big responsibility in caring for this device. Understand that it is your responsibility as a middle school student uh, to know where it's at at all times, to handle it with care, and to be safe online. Each device has its own barcode assigned to each student. Please do not mark your Chromebook. Um, don't put any, any stickers on it. And we want to make sure that you also uh, keep it dry, as simple as that may sound and obvious. Uh, in my experience, that is one of the top ways, most common ways that students damage their Chromebook. And often we see it with a student that puts a water bottle in their backpack, might not close the lid all the way, their Chromebook is in there, the water leaks, all of a sudden the Chromebook doesn't turn on due to water damage. Also, another common way that students damage Chromebooks is they put weight on top of their Chromebook. So they might set it on the kitchen table, they put things on top of it, they put a box on top of it and it ends up um, cracking the screen. Or if a student leans against the wall, putting all their weight on their Chromebook and backpack, then the screen will crack as well. So just keep those things in mind. A lot of this stuff is common sense, but you gotta have that awareness. The picture there shows the way that students should be carrying their Chromebook. Please don't carry it by the screen. Um, one of the common, again, ways that students uh, break their Chromebook screen is they, instead of closing it and carrying it with two hands, they just put their hands on the corner of the screen, they squeeze and they carry it, and um, the screens end up getting cracked. We want to make sure that our students are also safe online, so you definitely do not want to share your passwords with students. With your friend even your friends you want to make sure that you don't um, let a student borrow your Chromebook if they forgot it at home um, there's a place at school the library that they could pick up a Chromebook if they do forget it at home and if you use the restroom during class if you're in the library uh, don't leave your Chromebook open so other students can go in there and type things in or send emails in your name you want to make sure that you're safe online and that includes not leaving your Chromebook unattended so you want to make sure that you close your screen so when you reopen it and somebody wants to access your documents, it's protected by password. So like with other district property, for example, textbooks, if a student loses their textbook, they're going to be charged for the cost of the textbook. Same thing with the uh, Chromebook, so make sure that you're responsible with it. 
And also, if a student is being careless and and um, you know throws their Chromebook or whatever the case may be, uh, they may face some disciplinary action for destruction of school property. But again, here at Dutcher Middle School, we know our students are respectful, responsible, and safe, and we don't expect to deal with any incidents like that. Now, some families are considering the insurance. Again, it is an option. You're not required to purchase it. But for some families, it's a little bit of peace of mind. It's $22.90 one-time cost, and it covers your Chromebook for the entire school year. It covers accidental damage, liquid damage, so water damage, cracked screens, theft, fire, earthquake, tornadoes, hurricanes, power surge, vandalism. Hopefully we never encounter any of these situations, but you know, life happens and if your Chromebook is damaged due to one of these incident types, then you would not need to pay one additional cent and you would get a replacement device. A Chromebook does cost about $300 to replace. So we wanna make sure that um, if you do lose it, that if you are insured, again, you don't have to pay anything. If you do lose it, you do need to go to the school librarian and report it lost. Um, if it's lost at school or you believe it to be stolen, then you need to go immediately to student services and report it lost, preferably to Mrs. Kelly there uh, who works greeting students and student services. The keyboard, if it does become damaged, is roughly $17 to replace. The screen, about $65. And the power cord, if you lose it, about $37. We really recommend students not to bring their power cord to school. Please keep it in one place at home, the same place where you charge your Chromebook every night. That's a good practice because the Chromebook uh, power cord is one that students could easily lose if they're moving it uh, from place to place. Now I know it's a little nerve wracking to have a to have this responsibility, a device, an electronic device that costs $300, but you got this. Just make the right choices, listen to the suggestions that I've outlined in this video so far, and always know where, where it is. And you won't have to worry about any of these replacement costs because the devices are durable, but obviously like with any other piece of technology, if you are careless with it, they will break, they will get damaged. As I mentioned in a previous slide, the battery life is about 10 hours, so don't bring your chargers to school. We will have charging stations available in the library, and in some instances, you may need a charger in class. Your teachers would be able to support you with that, but ultimately, it is your responsibility to charge it every night at home. Now, it's important to remember that Dutcher Middle School's library is open every morning at 7.30 and closes about one hour after school every day. So that's definitely a place that you can go if you don't have internet access at home, that you could connect to the internet and do some schoolwork. The use of Chromebooks is allowed during lunch, but please be aware of your surroundings. We definitely don't want kids using their Chromebook out there by the blacktop uh, where kids are playing basketball. That's a good way to get your Chromebook damaged. So if you are gonna be using your Chromebook, during lunch, please be aware of your surroundings and more preferably in the library or uh, some nice spot um, near a classroom or inside a classroom. If your Chromebook is lost or stolen at school, like I mentioned earlier, you need to report it immediately to Student Services with Mrs. Kelly. Now, when connected to the internet, your Chromebook does come with a filter and that's to protect your, your internet activity. And you also need to remember, it's in yellow here, no expectation of privacy, which means because it is property of Turlock Unified, Turlock Unified staff may search your Chromebook at any time, including your apps. So you wanna make sure that even at home, your internet activity could be monitored and searched by Turlock Unified and negative actions at home on your Chromebook could lead to getting in trouble at school. So make sure that you understand that. If you need a little bit more clarity, ask your teacher or come talk to me again, Mr. Ariola. Now I'm really excited about this program right here that's called Go Guardian. Your teachers will have 
the ability to help you focus a little bit more when using your Chromebooks, including making sure that you are only focusing on the websites they want you to be on. And also if you're, you know, messing around on online when you should really be uh, focusing on an activity, the teacher from their computer can view your screen and close it. So like I said, we're really excited about teachers being able to help you focus on your schoolwork during class time. So in summary, please review page 16 and 17 of your Dutch or Middle School Student Handbook, where there you will find a breakdown of our expectations and procedures at Dutch or Middle School, things that I've highlighted in this presentation, including the importance of you bringing your Chromebook to school every day fully charged. We want to make sure that you remember the importance of being a responsible digital citizen, making the right choices online that keep you safe as well as your, as well as your classmates. We want to make sure that you also understand that you are responsible for the cost of the Chromebook. As I mentioned, we do believe in you. We know you can do this. We know that you can make the right choices in keeping your Chromebook um, in good shape and keep it working. Um, but again, ultimately, if you are careless and make poor choices with the use of it, it could lead to consequences, but it could also lead to you being fine for the cost of the device. Now, here are a few frequently asked questions that would really help you kind of summarize uh, what's most important out of this presentation. A question that I've been receiving is, what if I forget my Chromebook at home? So as I mentioned in this presentation, students can pick up a loaner Chromebook during homeroom or before school in the library with Mrs. Gonzalez. So the first couple of weeks of school, we're going to be reminding students through the daily dispatch announcements that if they did not bring their Chromebook to school, if they forgot it, to report to the library and pick up their loaner Chromebook. So ultimately, we want students to remember to do this on their own. Uh, but again, we would like for you to bring your Chromebook to school every day and avoid this issue. So what if you lose your Chromebook? Unfortunately, sometimes things like this happen. Now, if you do have insurance, yes, your family purchased the $22.90 insurance. You will need to contact a librarian for help making an insurance claim, and you will receive a replacement Chromebook immediately. If you do not have insurance, you will be charged for the cost of the Chromebook, but you would also receive a loaner Chromebook or replacement Chromebook, but you will still have to pay for the cost of the Chromebook. Now, what if my Chromebook gets damaged? You need to make sure that you report the damage immediately to our librarian, Mrs. Gonzalez. You may receive a loaner or a replacement Chromebook while your Chromebook is being repaired. Again, if you have insurance, then you could file a claim with a librarian. Your mother can help you or father can help you with that. And But if you don't have insurance, you may get charged or you would get charged for the cost of the uh, repair or the cost of replacing the Chromebook. Uh, you will also receive a loaner in both scenarios. Just keep that in mind. But again, you're within the power of taking care of this device and making sure that nothing happens to it. What if I forget to charge my Chromebook at home? You may need to pick up a loaner Chromebook in the library during homeroom if it's completely dead. Um, or you may also ask your teacher to allow you to charge your Chromebook in class. Every teacher will have one or two uh, charging blocks. But a lot of teachers do have seating charts. so. Um, it could be difficult for your teacher to allow you to sit near an outlet. So to avoid this problem, again, just make sure that your Chromebook is charged every night. But we do have charging stations in the library where you can go before school, during lunch, or after school to charge it. And the last question, could I get in trouble if I frequently forget my Chromebook at home? I've said it several times, yes. One of your responsibilities is to come to school prepared. If you frequently need to check out a loaner in the library, you will receive a consequence from the disciplinary office. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. We know that you may forget it once or twice, so there will be some warnings that we will allow um, to give you a pass. But really, if it happens almost every day or very frequently, 
then you will receive a consequence, possibly a work detail, possibly detention. If it gets really bad, maybe Saturday school. But again, we're hoping to avoid this because, again, we know our students at Dutcher Middle School take care of business and they will come to school prepared. And again, you got this. We know that you're going to do things the right way. We know that you're going to use this technology as a way to help you learn. Understand that, like with all of our team here at Dutcher, I'm here for you. So if you have any questions regarding uh, Chromebooks um, or anything else, you need any other type of support, please feel free to contact your assistant principal, Mr. Ariola. My email is listed here, so you could email me um, as well if you have any questions after viewing this presentation. Good luck. Go Dutcher.